So hello, welcome back. My name is Roman and this is part two of the violin restoration project that I did in January. Let's get started. Okay, so January, I had a big project that I took on and it was the uh, restoration of a 1944 Will Kanowski number 1436 violin that was owned by my grandfather when he was about 15 years old which is when it was purchased and uh, he had it for his entire life and after he passed away about four or five years ago uh, I was able to get it and as you can see in the previous video I you know, I hadn't done anything with it for a while. I'd owned it for at least a year or something like that. And I, it was given to me at least like a year ago or so. And I'd never done anything. I wasn't a violin player. And then I started getting into a little bit of um, doing luthier work on my guitars, setups, adjustments, all that kind of stuff. And started doing reviews and str on strings and et cetera, et cetera. Anyways. So I decided to take it on, and uh, what a challenge. I started on the 3rd of January. I took uh, quite a few notes and some sketches and layouts of the violin and all that stuff and um, photos, and I took about 100 and uh, easily 120 hours to redo this violin. Uh, one was, is it was my first time doing one, uh, I also had to learn a lot of new stuff and uh, actually putting it together. So basically the way it turned out, this is it. Uh, I'm extremely happy with the way it turned out. I took everything apart. I mean everything. So if you look at the other video, you'll see that there was a crack here and uh, there was another crack down here, chip kind of blow out from water damage. The, what else was there? There were some cracks that had developed inside the body, uh, you know, on the top. And there was a place that had been needed to be filled in. And uh, yeah, the back was in pretty good shape in other words. And it was kind of falling up, you know, glue had finally given out. So I took it apart. Uh, you'll see the images at the end. I took every, thing apart except for the C bout blocks and the two liners that went in there and I left the uh, ribs attached the ribs were all one piece here uh, obviously they aren't connected at the top and you'll see photos again and it had this very poor varnish job on it and I stripped it off using my hand. This stuff was so brittle that I was able to take it all off by hand. Very little, uh, I used a little scraper and uh, no, uh, very little sanding, if any real sanding done at all. And I finally got it set up the way I like it. I started playing it. Uh, <clears throat> it it's an extremely rewarding project. I never thought I would ever do a violin in my life. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with it. I finally got the, I even adjusted, re-reamed the peg holes and adjusted them. I took off the nut, fingerboard, neck, um, top, bottom plates. I replaced the bottom block, the top block. And what else did I do? Oh, I replaced the liners in both the upper and lower bouts, both top and bottoms. Redrilled the hole. Uh, interestingly enough, when the original end pin was drilled, you know, when I took it apart, there was a piece of paper that was uh, spun around in a circle and glued on the inside. Apparently, they reamed it too big, and the date on it was um, 1944. It had a day, but I don't know the month. But yeah, so. You know the paper inside was still good the label I had my own little label because I restored it and I felt like it's uh, since it's mine I can do whatever I want with it but also just give somebody an idea in the future in the family uh, who's taking care of it and who's owned it so yeah amazing product project I mean I uh, it, it was interesting 
to see and to feel, you know, something that my grandfather touched quite a bit growing up, and I think it probably brought them a lot of, um, you know, joy, I would think. Most music making does. Uh, you'll see in the videos at the end that I did have my bridge was not perfectly square. That's what I just aligned. So anyways, <laughs> I carved my own bridge. Um, yeah, I, I mean, 120 hours to complete the task seems incredibly long for such a small, small project. But I mean, I worked eight and 10 hours a day on Saturday and Sundays, and then I'd work four or five hours a day after work and you know some of that was just uh it was just so so bad just taking the varnish off took days um taking it apart wasn't that bad you know the top came off in about an hour the bottom part came off in about an hour and uh yeah taking apart a fingerboard and gluing it back on making sure everything was right and i've been playing it i play probably i don't know 30 minutes a day is what i've been trying to do so uh yeah, it's just, you know, this is great. I suggest that anybody ever, you know, if you're ever, ever interested or in doing it, be prepared. It costs money. Um, the tools, the clamps, the glue, learning how to work with the hide glue, um, varnishing it and all that stuff, it takes money. And it's, you definitely want it to be worth it. I think for, you know, most people, they probably would have never done this kind of work. But if you are interested, uh, I don't know, maybe I can help you one day. Let me know. Right now I'm upstairs working on a, my first violin. That is, it's an amazing experience and I love it. Uh, I've already got plans to make two and three. Uh, so uh, I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely good there. But yeah, I think just take a look at the pictures at the end, see if you enjoy it. I loved it, 160 hours, 120 hours of my life, giving back to something that uh, I hope will last at least another 75, 80 years uh, or more, you know, to a great, great, great grandchild might be able to own this one day. And uh, yeah, just play it and have a good time. I'm not gonna play it because I stink. And uh, yeah, you definitely don't want me playing it. So meanwhile, in, in the video, what you'll see here is I'm taking apart uh, the top and the bottom and then I'm also um, let's see here what else let's just okay so here you'll see that I'm actually just uh, starting to work on taking this thing apart I didn't really know exactly what I was doing um, you know warming it up trying to use a little bit of water and trying to steam up that glue just a little bit without applying too much you can see how awful I think that finish was definitely not um, what I would have ever wanted to use. I'm much more of a natural wood kind of person whenever I do any of my woodworking projects. I always tend to stay with the natural color of the wood. And uh, I finally started making progress and the top starts coming off and, and it, uh, once I revealed, opened it up, you can see it was super dirty inside, lots of dust and then water damage on the uh, upper and lower blocks. And then there's a, to the left there at the bottom, at the end pin, you can kind of see some of that paper sticking out. Uh, I still have that paper. And then uh, the next day, uh, I worked all day. Uh, the bottom came off much, much easier. And uh, yeah, working my way around this thing. And then I've, uh, I think the big thing there was just making sure I didn't do any damage to the button at all. It takes a lot of work. And then, I mean, with these ribs, I needed to take off the neck so that I could, I could so I took off the top block. The top block had to be replaced along with the bottom block. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. You, you probably can't tell. I'm just sitting there listening to some music in the background and working and taking my time. Uh, go slow. That was the number one thing. So... Yeah, it was interesting. You'll see at the, at the end, I have uh, some videos, some swing by shots. Uh, and then I also have some um, photographs throughout the entire progress. progress. What's interesting is that this project took so much time that the amount of energy I wanted to focus to 
are focused on with videos and capturing it was way more than I could deal with. The, uh, the amount of time it takes to actually do the work and then to come back and even shoot the videos and then edit them and upload them just was didn't seem worth it. I kind of like rolling it all up at once and just talking about it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you need help with your instrument, you love send questions my way. Maybe I'll have some answers for you or some resources you can get access to. So thanks again. Watch the rest of the video. Uh, enjoy the links and you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thank you.